This photo shows the moment when 51-year-old Vincent Carter of Sacramento was released from the 14th floor of the UC Davis Medical Center, a survivor of COVID-19. It's great news. We're so happy that he got to go home, and I understand that he got a rousing applause from the staff. Before checking into the hospital, UC Davis Medical Center says Carter had been traveling up and down the East Coast for work and was in New York City just before returning home in March. While fighting the virus, fortunately, Carter did not need a ventilator, but he was sick enough to be enrolled in one of two of the health system's COVID-19 clinical trials, testing two different drugs effect on the virus. These are pretty potent drugs. One was developed for Ebola, uh, and then one is a systemic anti-inflammatory. But Dr. Allison Brashear, dean of UC Davis Medical School, says they cannot say which drug Carter was on. While sick, the hospital says he lost both his sense of taste and smell, and he lost 18 pounds. Now, I was able to speak with Vincent Carter over the phone. He says he is doing much better, but wasn't up for any sort of formal interview today. But he is looking forward to getting through his two weeks of quarantine and getting back to normal life. But Dr. Bashir cautions Carter's recovery doesn't necessarily mean one of the drugs is working. I think it's too early to say whether the results are promising. Um, you know, they have a, uh, they need to get those numbers up and then they need to follow the patients and then um, look at the results. Dr. Bashir says there's still 13 other local COVID-19 patients who are taking part in the two different studies the hospital is conducting. In total, 10 are on the antiviral remdesivir, while four others are on the anti-inflammatory sarilumab. And then that's how the FDA decides that the drug actually had an impact as opposed to the great care or some other thing that might have influenced it. In Sacramento, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News.